Following a high-level meeting at State House between President William Ruto, Chief Justice Martha Kome, and the National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula where corruption was termed as a threat to the judiciary, stakeholders are engaging on how to further boost the fight against the vice. We will be dealing with serious matters that cut across, including the legislative interventions that are required to ensure that ESCC is strengthened. As concerns grow over this race, public debt that is now 70% against the GDP, which could have been legally obtained and misappropriated, the ESCC could soon start a probe on the alleged corruption. The only problem we have in Kenya is Madeni. That's the only problem. And that is what has hit my head for the last one year. President William Ruto has further admitted that the debt burden is causing him sleepless nights, and at this time, a conversation on how to turn around the situation was held. ESCC must be investigating, and this is one question we have posed to them. Are they currently investigating how public funds may have been used uh, from public debt? And if so, what are the results and what action is going to be taken? We have been investigating all kinds of allegations of corruption within government whether they were part of the debt that was uh, taken by, by government over the years or in any other way. We'll pursue any corrupt uh, deals wherever they are found, whether they are related to the debt or not. Various leaders have also called for forensic audit to verify whether the over 11 trillion borrowed by the country so far has been properly used. Whatever is in question, we suspend payment. The one that is not, we continue. He has that leeway, but he doesn't have the courage. We can stop paying and we come back on the negotiation table and we say that let us negotiate on the repayment of our loans. And if we stop paying, by the way, there's nothing that these people will do. Other countries stop paying. There's a time Mexico didn't, couldn't pay. Ghana uh, uh, is defaulting. Ethiopia, the other day, we were told that it is also defaulting. And such an advice, by the way, from a legislator will definitely be taken with a pinch of salt. Why? Because we cannot live in a vacuum as a ESCC has at the same time called for legislative reforms to allocate more budget to it, even as recovered assets are said to be used by the graft body. ESCC must be investigating, and this is one question we have posed to them. Are they currently investigating how public funds may have been used uh, from public debt? And if so, what are the results and what action is going to be taken. We have been investigating all kinds of allegations of corruption within government, whether they were part of the debt that was uh, taken by, by government over the years or in any other way. We will pursue any corrupt uh, deals wherever they are found, whether they are related to the debt or not. The body father wants to have powers to second prosecution of corruption cases in what appears to be climbing down the high stances of getting prosecutorial powers. It's not an issue of saying we need prosecutorial power. Maybe we can say uh, we need uh, prosecutors seconded to the ESCC because of uh, looking at our political culture. If you try to give powers to prosecute to any other body, then you risk uh, breaching the constitution and that has its own consequences. The George Mugara parliamentary led committee will for the whole week engage stakeholders among them the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions during its retreat in Naivasha, Nakuru County. Joel Chachake, 24TV, Nairobi.